from my new book. Um, I, I originally thought I would read this uh, in front of Mary's crowd. Um, you'll see why. Petey, my best friend. These are, this is a collection of high ones. My sister was the middle child, the only girl amidst two sets of boys. It was my parents who had, as, as if my parents had had two families, and she was the youngest in the first and the oldest in the second. Being the youngest in the first family, my older brothers had toughened her up, so to speak, gave her an edge over the younger brother and me. Sometimes, but not always, she took advantage of our naivete. Mostly she doted on us, but sometimes she just couldn't resist. Our brothers had taught her well. Mom had bathed the three older siblings together when they were young out of necessity, partly because she had her hands full while dad was at work, and partly because the old farmhouse we lived in had a finite amount of hot water on hand. So it was out of habit, I suppose, that she continued after we moved east to Westmere to bathe the three youngest siblings together. We were lined up by size, age, and bathed in that order. My younger brother first, then me, and finally my sister who eventually stayed and bathed herself while mom was wrestling with me and my brother. It was during one of these bathing sessions, after we had spent the day playing in the sandy backyard and had come into the house with pockets full of dirt that we were all turned out into the back of the garage and stripped down to our skivvies when my sister succumbed to her temptations and pulled off her most dastardly deed. As we were waiting in the bathroom while the tub was filling and mom was sorting our clothes into the laundry, my sister took her advantage. You know, she said, you don't know it yet. But you might be a girl like me one day. What? We said unknowing. Yep. If you're going to be a girl, your pity falls off. <laughs> but you don't know it till you turn 10. That's what had happened to me. If you're going to be a boy, you get to keep it. But if you're going to be a girl, it just drops off. Maybe one day while you're on the toilet. Maybe one night when you go to sleep tonight. But don't tell mom, you know, because it's supposed to be a surprise, and she doesn't want to know. We were dumbfounded, scared out of our pants, literally. I even asked my older brothers, and they confirmed it. What are we going to do, said my younger brother. I don't want to lose my Petey. I like him. <laughs> well, I don't want to lose mine either, I said, and I'm older. I'm going to turn 10 first. I didn't sleep a wink that night, and neither did my younger brother. Worse yet, my older brothers had sworn us to secrecy, pinky swear and all, so as not to surprise mom and dad. It was awful and brilliant. To this day, I dream of my Petey being flushed down the toilet irretrievably. Sometimes, even now, I flinch when I hear the clink of the toilet and the handle and the sound of water swirling. The things we believe when young and gullible visit even now. Yeah. <laughs>